right, what, what is today? What's today? Uh, what day is it? Is, what is Monday? Yep. Yeah, Monday. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what day it is. When everybody else will be busy. Yeah, everybody's everybody's going to work, That's and I mean. I'm out here. Here's the first fish of the day. A giant, giant croaker. Haven't caught a croaker like this in a while. We could fill the box full of these for all I give a hoot. <laughs> I wanna go fishing. Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away I wanna go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I wanna go fishing I don't ever wanna stop First sheet said We had a croaker that was bigger than this one <laughs> All right, Joss has got an absolute monster ass hander on. I think he hooked a ship. And all it was is a little shrimp on a knocker rig. I think he's got a submarine. <laughs> submarine. <laughs> we got a ship coming and another ship coming. And he has got an absolute bruiser on here that was smoking this spinning reel like no tomorrow, folks. You ain't never had a redfish this big, huh? Nope. It has big. to be a redfish. I don't know what else it could be. I don't think you're going to catch a stingray out here. You never know, man. Stingrays do fight like redfish, though. But I think it's a bull red. He's still on that. He should be hooked to it. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Let me put the camera up. Get your line out of the way. I'm going to pull up and get some of my wet. Mm. Mm. LT, baby. Light tackle. Come on. Oh, that's so fun, man. This is who let oh. the dogs out. Uh, he caught a second wind, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> here we are sitting here catching them. Whiting and yellow mouth looking for a sheep's head and then what's he hook into? What was the fish he caught right before this? A bank bass or something? He caught a god dang little bank bass and then this next. Don't let him swim to the ship! Don't let him swim to the ship! <laughs> we got it. This ship is going right by us. And he's going to suck the water from underneath the boat. Think I can put him in this little net? I don't know. I'm gonna have to. That was a hole. Alright, let me get my big gripper out. Let him fight it out. We don't want him up to the side of the boat unless he's tired. We want him tired out. Yeah, that's right. Oh! Yeah, baby. Yeah, Big old bull redfish. Oh, I ain't never caught a fish that big. Who let the dogs out? Holy <laughs> oh, shit. I see. I yeah, 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 we don't want that line going across the top of his head. Now reel all the way down and, and then just hold because he's going to go under the boat and do all this other kind of craziness. Take some more line. He's almost tired out. Almost tired out. All on a one aught mustad hook. Too much. There you go. 
Okay, the net, the net was too small. Only if I can keep. Oh my god! How about that, folks? <laughs> Woohoo! For the hell we talking? <laughs> okay. Let me lay him right here. Oh, Let me get out my oh. real scale. I'm pretty stiff, fairly. That was fun. Oh, damn, bicep bird. That was fun. Oh my gosh. That's the biggest red fish I've ever caught in my life. Well, give me my, uh, my key hook there. I'm going to destroy this hook. Now look at him. You got him right in the gristle there. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't coming out. He wasn't coming out. Yeah. I need another one. <laughs> the adrenaline is pumping. That's what you come out here for. Don't catch it. Big Red's not getting a lot. That thing's huge. That's 20 pounds, brother. We're fixing to find out. Now, like I told you when we were trout fishing, the guy pulled one like that on that float rig out from underneath that damn dock. Really? Yeah. So you know how hard that was. Woo! Who let them dogs out? Look at the size of that bruiser. That's a monster. Good. All on a little piece of shrimp. Yep. Damn. I've had them stick right through my shoe. I had them stick right through some rubber boots one time. I was amazed at that. Alright. This is what we've been fishing for for hours. And I had that little one early this morning. And now I just got this one. And I'm wanting these guys to catch them. And I thought it was a toad fish because he didn't even fight very good. So at least we're gonna go back with one hint hint. <laughs> we gotta get we need a, we need at least two more kind of to make it look good. You know, I always say if you catch one, you got lucky. If you catch two, it proves you know what you're doing. We've been just banging the yellow mouth trout and the and the and the piggy perches and the Everything. I don't know. We caught almost. Oh, we had the largest toadfish today that I've seen in years inshore. I don't think I've ever seen one that big in this river. I've seen them that big, you know, 10 miles offshore, but not in this river. I don't know. What was that thing? Like five pounds? <laughs> it had a head this big around. Like a bulldog. All right. So. Seven stripe of jetty snapper, and we're nowhere near the jetties. <laughs> if you ever see a mount of a sheep's head and he doesn't have seven stripes, the taxidermist didn't know what he was doing. Really? There's one in B&M bait and tackle where he's only got five stripes. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven black stripes. Every single. I've caught them six inches long, and they still have seven stripes. That's the reason they're called Seven Stripe and Jetty Snappers. All right, we finally got another one. Jesse here got his, his one allocated per day. So far, that's so awesome. We're almost out of shrimp. Almost. But we got two. So that means we know what we're doing. All right, we're heading back to make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. Tide turned on us, and now it's screaming in. Yeah, it was. Really it was. Just now as it was this morning. Yeah, it was screaming this morning, and now it's screaming the other direction. And we ran out of shrimp. So here we go.
Civil War paddle wheeler, double paddle wheeler offshore. Yeah. And they pulled millions and millions of dollars worth of gold coins around it when it sunk. Really? And it looked there was a it was a ship like this. Wow. They used it and then they sold the ship. It was for sale for like 13 million dollars. Wow. So, it was one just like this. Huh. That's what that's what people use ships like this for. Treasure hunting? All kinds of stuff like that. Okay. They buy them, they use them, and they turn around, and then they sell them huh. after they make all their fortunes. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, an old buddy of mine commercial fished that double paddle wheeler. It was like damn near 100 miles out. It was in like 1,400 foot of water. Yeah. And he bottom fished for a fish called wreck fish off of it and didn't even know what it was. It was a little bump in the bottom yeah. in 1,400 foot of water. Yeah. And then later on he found out it was, it was one of these uh, ships that were coming down from the north to resupply the, the southern banks with gold coins and it sank and it had bar wooden barrels full of gold coins in wow. like a locked up room. But when it sank, it went, it was in a hurricane and it had a paddle wheel on each side. And when it sank, it went straight down and hit the bottom and it busted the whole thing apart. And the gold coin barrels went out the back and broke apart. And when these guys, these treasure hunters, they knew it was out there. They did their research. And they went down with those RUVs and shit. And they went down there and moved the sand out of there. And there's all them gold coins just piled. And went down there with vacuum cleaners to suck them all up off the bottom. And they had a ship like that. Wow. And my buddy always so said, he goes, we always knew that place was a damn gold mine. Because he caught so many fish off that. He bought a house, cash and a brand new Suburban back in the uh, early 80s. Wow. Cash money wow. with all the money he made selling his fish. That's cool. So there's an interesting story for you. Yeah, that is very cool. Because guess what? We both saw it on a PBS special and we called each other. And I said, Randall, do you see what the hell these guys are, fi are finding out there? And he goes, and then they show like the coordinates, kind of like the area they were. And he goes, oh yeah, let me turn it on. He turns it on and he calls me back like 30 minutes later. He says, God dang, that's that spot we used to fish. <laughs> I said, how do you fish 1400 foot of water? Man. He says, you go five miles ahead of it and you drop 10, 20 pound leads down with 50 hooks on it and hope for the best. <laughs> We're pulling up and we're going. Holy shit. Look at all the pelicans. They're, they're there. They're there. The pelicans are there.